then the question uh, is, um, you know, is this racist? Uh, is this hate speech? Um, if you listen and you watch the video that I just saw, um, the video skips and it's cut. Okay, they added the shit together, you know, for shock value. Of course, what this man is saying is shocking to white people. Why wouldn't it be? And if you white folks out there who swear that you've never heard anything racist towards black people, if you never heard anything racist towards black people, never seen anybody do anything funny towards a Mexican or someone non-white, then I want you to reply to this video. You know, because America is snaky. I'm sorry. I love my country. I love every bit of the United States of America. But we fuck people over. We're a snaky-ass country. So what? A lot of people know that we live on shaky ground. Not because I'm in California, because there's earthquakes. It's because our government. Now, the government doesn't represent the people. Reverend Wright does not represent everybody of color in the United States of America. Just like David Duke didn't represent every white person in America. People fail to realize there's a handful of people who speak how they feel on what they know and on what they've seen. Right or wrong, this man is speaking on experience. And if you haven't had the experience of someone telling that you can't do something because you're black or somebody talking about you can't have shit because you're a woman or I don't think that lady's good enough for a job, if you don't think there's any racism in our country, maybe you need to step back. Maybe you need to paint yourself brown and go out on a day on the town. Maybe you need to do what some people have done in the past to see the other side of the story. I can tell you a whole bunch of million things about a million people. I remember I was a young kid working at McDonald's. A white man walked up to me, an older white man, and spit on the floor. He looked at me and said, clean that up, boy. I'm 40 years old. Now, affirmative action when Martin Luther King died before I was born. So, you, you know, come on. You know, like I said one time, Roots, Roots disappointed me. The movie, the series, it disappointed me because it ended too soon. You know, there is hate. There is racism. And yeah, Reverend Wright has seen a lot of shit. Al Sharpton has seen a lot of shit. I've seen a lot of shit. I know a lot of white people who have seen a lot of shit. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. They saw a lot of shit from the other side of the fence. They, they, they went and beat those niggers up. They went and, and burned that Mexican people's house down. See, I know a lot of people who stood on both sides of the fence. A lot of people. And a lot of people are ashamed for what they did. A lot of people feel stupid for how they've carried on when they were younger. But don't hate the way you was raised. Hate the people that raised you. Oh, let's take it one step further. Hate the people that taught your father, your grandmama, and your great-grandmama how to hate other people. Hate the people that taught other people how to control people. Don't just jump on a bandwagon because some black man said this white woman ain't never been called a nigger. Hillary ain't never been called a nigger, but I bet you she been called a nigger lover. So it doesn't matter. What's done is done. The truth is the truth. Don't be ashamed of y'all past. Don't be ashamed because white people did some fucked up shit. Oh, no, it never happened. Yeah, it should happen. All them people didn't get on that damn boat and come over here because they wanted a fucking ride. Hey, hey, what are you guys doing? We're just kicking it on the beach. <laughs> you want to take a ride? Hey, put on these seat belts. Climb on down to the bottom. Get yourself a bunk and sleep it off. No. America has been founded on some fucked up shit. And I'm American. And I admit to it. Yeah, we fucked up some people. Some people fucked us up. Some people fucked off generations upon generations of my people and the original Holocaust. But hey, people are only worried about what happened to the to Japanese in the internment camps. Oh, Hitler did the Jews wrong. What about what America has done to people? The appearance of freedom is all that we have. The appearance. When we still go to work for the same three people, the same five people who've been running this country since the beginning, we still work for those same people. He might not whip our ass no more, 
Well, if he want to, he could take your car away, cancel your insurance, take your mortgage. You know, it's not about black and white no more. It's about the top 5% versus the 95 on the bottom. That's what it's about. It's about them maintaining their stranglehold on you, me, and whatever else they got their hands in. It ain't black and white. It's financial. This is it. If you ain't worth something, you ain't worth nothing. And that's black people, Chinese, Japanese, Mexican, and white people. Yes. You have been duped to be fooled and fin flammed and bamboozled just like everybody else. And I'm tired of hearing white people defend a policy that now they're caught up in themselves. It's sad. It's pitiful. You see all these poor people. Three months ago, you was calling me all kind of dirty niggers and shit. And now you need my help. You can take a nigger's help. Without being, I can get help from a nigger, but I don't. It's not going to be bad if he just assists me. If some nigger helping you eat and feed your family, that's bad. That's bad, especially when the niggas can't have shit they sell. Niggas ain't got nothing. Niggas ain't got no casino money. Niggas ain't got no casinos. And I'm not a nigga. I want you to know that. I'm a man. I'm a human being. I use the word nigga now because it's so programmed in me. And I shot you. Not all crazy nigga with your parent. I mean, it's you program motherfuckers so fucked up that, you know, I'll tell people in a minute. Overseas and on all these other continents, the Middle East and, and, and even in China, the young people rage against the governments. Here in America, we're so stupid and fucking dumb. And, you know, what's the capital of California? Uh, Hollywood. We're so fucking ignorant in America. Well, who's the Secretary of State? Condoleezza Rice. Who's the Vice President? Dick Cheney. Um, fuck, I can't tell you who the Joint Chiefs of Staff are. Uh... I can't tell you who the president of uh, well, I can't tell you who the president of Mexico is, and they just had an election. See, we're so stupid in this country. We're like we're, we're worried about the local news. Well, it's not local anymore. We're global now, and if black people worry about how white people treat them here in America, what's gonna happen when we branch out of America, the American black amongst the world? Come on. Same thing with the average white person. The, the average white person who don't make $70,000 a year. What's going to happen? Um, you watch these videos, how they try to put a spin on black people and white people. And understand this. You keep on spinning, and you keep on spinning. And the only people that are getting dizzy is us. You get so fucking dizzy watching the news and not understanding what's really going on that you're dizzy. You just, so, oh, I just want, I want to go home from work, sit down and watch a soap opera. I want to go home from work, sit down and watch the game. I want to come home from work, sit down and, and, and do something else. Read a book. Motherfuckers don't, I got to get home and put on the news. I got to, hey. Man, I was reading the financial report. People don't even think like the average American wants to make sure they keep that $10, 11 an hour job, and the other ones want to keep their 15 25 and the other ones want to keep their 30 to 33 And those who make $150 up per hour, they're trying to keep that shit. Nobody worried about this election and these people. We worried about ourselves. And that selfishness is going to get us all fucked in the end. So, you know. Rather Al Sharpton and Reverend Wright and anybody's racist or not, we all getting screwed in the end. So um America, Al Sharpton, Reverend Wright, uh Greta Van Susteren, you've been tubed by me, the real A to the I to the X. Shoo.